Good afternoon. I'm Kimberly Matthews, Children's Librarian at the Winsburg County Library. And I will be reading the story, Fire and Water, which was written and illustrated by our very own Roberta McCutcheon, Program Coordinator, and pictures were taken by our friend of the library, Latson McCutcheon. Do you see the words on this building? Do you see Mr. Ricky? He is telling us all about Andrew's fabricators. He took us into the building and showed us some of the fantastic things they know how to do with metal. Like this, really big things. It's huge. This is what it looks like in part of the shop. This man has a welding helmet on, which keeps his face and eyes safe when he is welding pieces of metal together. That helmet will tip over his face. Welding means he is using extreme heat to melt a kind of metal that will make other pieces of metal stick together. He went to welding school and trained to be a welder. He will wear welding gloves when he welds, and he also has on boots with steel toes, so if things drop on his toes, he won't be hurt. He also wears cotton cloths clothes because they are safer and won't burn as easily as some fabrics do. Do you see the metal pieces he is making? He really has to know how to weld to do this. Look at all that's happening in this picture. See the welding sparks flying? Do you see the big chains on a hoist that are lifting the metal pieces and moving them? Mr. Ricky is showing us how the two pieces will be put together very carefully and then weld it together so they will never come apart. Wow, that's, a, that's hard to do. It has to be absolutely perfect. Mr. Randy tells us all about what people in the fabricating and welding area of the shop do. It is very exciting to see everything here. Mr. Randy has lots of responsibility making sure everything is just perfectly made. You see his pencils in his pocket and his gloves and steel toe boots. He is very careful and like all the people in the shop, he is very proud of the work they do. You can see he is thinking very hard about the jobs they are doing today. But we need to check with Mr. Ricky and see how all of this welding and fabricating happen. You can see him smiling because he likes to explain to people how this works. He knows we will really enjoy learning about what happens in this shop. Ricky says he is the HR safety project manager and that we will go from start to finish when an order comes into Andrew's Fabricators. We will start with the mechanical engineer, then we will go to the manager over cutting, then to the shop. So here we go. We will get to meet some really interesting people with really interesting and important jobs. This is Mr. James, who loves physics and loves mechanical engineering. You will have to ask him exactly what those things are, but the knowledge of them allows him to take orders from his customers and design pieces of metal to make the things the customers want to have built. He went to Clemson University, so probably wears a lot of orange. Today we find him working at his computer, making plans to take a flat drawing of an object and turn it into a three-dimensional object. He thinks this is really, really fun job. This is why he is smiling. Mr. James is going to measure the metal piece on the desk with the instrument in front of him, which is called a dial caliper. Then he will make computer images of the metal piece so it can be made by the shop. Mr. James just sent a set of plans to the next person we will meet. His name is Mr. John. I think I see an orange cell phone case on Mr. James's desk. I figure he had orange around here somewhere. This is Mr. John. Can you read the words on his hat? He is smiling because he, he can do some special things with metal. He went to college to learn how to take the instructions he gets from Mr. James and make them into things you would not believe. It is very complicated. Mr. John just got some plans from Mr. James. Mr. John 
is in charge of two rooms that cut metal with big machines. Mr. John sends directions from his commuter from his computer to the water jet. This is the water jet cutting metal. Isn't it wonderful? This machine can cut metal that is up to six inches thick. Mr. John is also in charge of sending instructions from his computer to a huge machine that can cut out very complicated designs with a super high temperature cutting torch. It looks like this. The torch is there, the metal lays on top of the fins, and the torch moves over the metal to cut it. Thank you, Andrews Fabricators, for letting us come and visit you. We enjoyed learning about what all the people in your shop do to make really important things. It is very complicated. Please watch the video of our visit on the Winsburg County Library YouTube channel, which you can visit directly or click on the link on the Winsburg County Facebook page to see them. We thank you again for listening to our story and please check out our YouTube page and our Facebook page. Bye!